Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Elias Babar Awan, and today we will discuss writing a short story. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn English with IBA. Now, the points which today I am going to discuss with you are actually Nigel Watts, eight-point arc. Now, he has discussed that what are the essentials of writing a short story, rather a good short story. So, today, we are to discuss the eight-point arc by Nigel Watts. So, this is a traditional arc. You can see that how the story begins, how the incidents are inside it, how the midpoint comes, then climax, and then finally we reach to the conclusion. Uh, this is a normal story arc. Now, what are these eight point? Uh, what what is the eight point story arc? So, if you want to write a great short story, but you're not sure how to begin, you might want to consider using the eight point story arc. This is a simple but effective method for planning a well-developed story. That eight-point story arc is made up of eight key elements. These elements are number one, the stasis, number two, the trigger, number three, the quest, number four, the surprise, number five, the critical choice, number six, the climax, Number seven, the reversal, and final one is the resolution. I repeat them stasis, trigger, quest, surprise, critical choice, climax, reversal, and resolution. Now let's talk about each one of these in more details. What is stasis? The first point is stasis. The word stasis simply means the equilibrium or Balance and can be thought of as a protagonist's everyday life and where the story is set. This is exposition of a story where the characters and setting is introduced. Now we do see that generally the story is started like this. Once upon a time there was a king and then we do find the normal life or the balanced life of those characters where, is no, where there is no any kind of problem no tragedy, no chaos. So that's the setting of the story, which is called the stasis. Number two is the trigger. Sometimes beyond the control of the protagonist, hero or heroine, is the trigger, which sparks off the story. Like we do find a godmother, a fairy godmother appears in Cinderella. Or a... Uh, you know, John and the uh, uh, blue star. You know, you find there is a there. There is an old man who gives the beans. Then there is a mysterious letter arrives to Harry Potter. Okay, so these are some of the events we do find some of the supernatural forces or natural forces which come and trigger the story or trigger the spark of the story. Okay, so that suddenly. The story moves with the faster pace. Now the quest. The trigger results in a quest. An unpleasant trigger, for example, a protagonist losing his job, might involve a quest to return to the status quo. Uh, a pleasant trigger, for example, finding a treasure map, means a quest to maintain or increase the new pleasant state. Like suddenly we find a dirt that takes a, you know an, an unpleasant or pleasant incident in the story. And after that the hero, the heroine or the protagonist, they try to come out of that problem or they want to you know go for further uh, quest. So uh, 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 further in the story. And that process actually is the quest of what they actually want to achieve. Like uh, in Aladdin, uh, Aladdin finds uh, you know a lamp. 
Now he, he gets the lamb, but the story does not end actually. After getting the lamb, what is his destination? What is his you know purpose? For that purpose, to achieve that purpose, what does he do? That's his, that is called his quest. Now the surprise. This stage involves not one but several elements and take up most of the middle part of the story. Surprise includes pleasant events, but more often means obstacle, complications, conflicts, and trouble for the protagonist. Now, surprise, it can be a new entry of the character like we are watching these days, Arturo. So, in every episode, we find there is a new character or event is take, uh, that, that's taking place and that, that surprise is a protagonist. And these surprises are sometimes so pleasant, but there is by default a chaos or a conflict that is residing whether the entry, entry of a character or uh, the change in, in the story. So that surprise is most of the times cover the middle part of the story and they may include the pleasant events but more often it means the obstacles i give one more example from Ertugrul when the brother of uh, Ertugrul Sarum comes so it, it was so surprising it was so good but he was a person who actually created the problem from Ertugrul okay so it involves uh, several elements but that can create the obstacles, complications, conflict, and troubles for the protagonist. Then critical choice. At some stage, your protagonist needs to make a crucial decision. That's called the critical choice. This is often when we find out exactly who a character is, as real personalities are revealed at moments of high stress. Now, Nigel Watts stresses that this has to be the scene taken by the character to take a particular path, not just something that happens by chance. Now, the critical choice must be intentional. It shouldn't be a choice, a random choice. No, mind of the protagonist should work. If you want to establish the strength of your character, so you need to present him some decision maker kind of person. However, there are some guiding forces that you know go hand in hand with us. But once you want to establish the strength of your character, so you need to present that he's going to take a decision, and that decision sometimes uh, becomes so crucial, so difficult for him or her. But finally, they become the successful, you know, people. So in many classic stories, the, cr the critical choice involves choosing between a good but hard path and a bad but easy one. So if you choose good but hard path, so you become successful. The best example is that in a short story or in a movie, you find there is a hero and there is a villain. Or negative or evil character evil character always finds the path which is easy but the bad one and on the other side we do find a good but a hard path but who finally wins who finally tastes the success it is none other than the protagonist or the hero so in tragedies the unhappy ending often stems from a character making the wrong choices at this point so such as Romeo poisoning himself on seeing Juliet supposedly dead for example so your choice can destroy you or make you uh, you know living forever the climax the critical choice made by your protagonist need to needs to result in the climax the highest peak of tension in your story for some stories this could be the firing squad leveling their guns at, at to shoot, a battle commencing, a high-speed chase, or something equally dramatic. So in other stories, the climax could be a huge argument about a husband and a wife, or a playground fight between children. 
or Cinderella and the ugly sisters trying on the glass slipper. Now, the climax is when you know the representative of the court, the prince, came you know to Cinderella's house. He had with him the glass slipper. Now the other sisters were trying to wear that glass slipper, and that creates the climax. Now, after any event, the whole story will take a turn. So that's the climax. There's the height of tension. The people are watching or reading, and they are confused that it can happen. You know, any anything can happen. Then comes the reversal. The reversal should be the consequence of the critical choice and the climax. And it should change the status of the characters, especially your protagonist. For example, a downtrodden wife might leave her husband after a row. A boy child might stand up for a fellow victim and realize that the bully no longer has any power over him. Cinderella might be recognized by the prince. Now reversal, the things get reversed. You know, a person who is being bullied, now he stands up against the people who were bullying him. Okay? And there is, uh, this, uh, there is Cinderella who was marginalized in the home. But once he wears the, successfully wears the slippers, now what happens? His, oh, her status is completely reversed. Now the resolution. The resolution is a return to a fresh stasis. Now what is stasis? Generally the story there started once upon a time there was a king who used to live in that place. Okay? And he was living a happy life. Then there comes the events, the series of events which are so problematic but sooner or later, he successfully you know, overcomes these problems or issues. And again, there becomes another state of stasis where everyone is living happily forever. So one where the characters should be chained, wiser and enlightened, but where the story being told is complete. Now, the issue is resolved and the people are living happy life, but this time they are uh, they have gone through uh, a tense situation. They have learned so many things. They have learned so many things. And now they are a successful, uh, you know, cultural, social identity. So they can perform in a better way. So with all that, I do conclude today's lecture. If you have any question, you may mention in the comment section. Please subscribe my channel, Learn English with IBA. See you next time. Allah Hafiz.